Hello everybody, GOW3 Prime here, and welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry. In the last episode, we defeated Satan's Gelatin Mold. Gelatin. Yeah, that. And anyway, we have now reached this place with the Staff of Hermes, even though it doesn't really make any sense because Hermes was a messenger and I already complained about that, so I'm not going to go into it again. But anyway, we now have two portraits in front of us and no Dante to be seen. Spoiler alert, he's behind this uh, thing right here. But uh, I think after much deliberation, and by much deliberation I mean coming up with an answer within five seconds, we shall be going through the one on the left first, because I always say, go left first. And once again, I ended the episode before a mission clear. I just have brilliant timing on these things. Just save quickly. Saving doesn't take too long, so that's a plus side to this game. And we shall be starting the next mission, which is Mission 17. Parted memento. Slash away at the dragon and enter the court with the quicksilver. Awesome. Uh, we could do... Ooh, we have a lot of orbs here. Uh, we could do some powering up, and... I think we shall... Wow, Ifrit is just ripping off. First we got the Falco Punch, then we got the Shoryuken, and now we're going to be throwing Hadoukens? God, you're just ripping people off left and right, aren't you now? And plus it's called Ifrit, Final Fantasy VII. Like, okay, I know you throw this in monster from mythology, but still, you know. I think I shall actually equip the Ifrit here because I have been trying to use it for a while now, but not the enemies are being very helpful towards it. But this is a nice closed off area. Speaking of which, I should have probably done this as well, but I shall switch to my shotgun as well. Enemy, enemy, eh, eh, blah, blah. Any enemies here? And I already answered my own question by seeing him. Uh, get some red orbs as well. God, this place is dark. But uh, nothing else there, I suppose. No, my luck, I probably missed something, but oh well. There's a book that tells about ways to enter the underworld. Evil is a reflection of man. Thus evil lurks inside the mirror. One with devil's equal qualities may bring the strong blue elixir and stand before the mirror. So that is a hint to what we're supposed to do. And great, even more portraits. It's going to be a massive maze, isn't it? Not really a maze, because only one of them opened up. But uh, let's uh, play some Mario 64 and jump into the painting. It seems like a run-down version of the Coliseum earlier. And looks like we got a new enemy. Whose design I love. Fighting them on the other hand. Can be ridiculously fun or ridiculously annoying. But uh, these two are well known for their ice attacks. So I say, and they're, oh, that's just, a, oh, I love that teleportation move so much. I just love the way it looks. But anyway, so, if they're going to use ice, I say we use, we should use fire. And punch them just in. I didn't get your chance to use my Hadoukens. I can't remember how I was supposed to use that. I think it's like back end square or something. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's uh, just punch these guys in. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. You got quite the range there, don't you, lassie? I don't think. No, that's a very short range. I don't know why that. I want to stand there for a second. Wow, you actually did. Oh, couldn't quite. Couldn't quite counter with my sure You could. Ow. <laughs> Sit down, son. Okay, fine, don't sit down then. Oh, come on, how do you do the freaking... 
Okay, I cannot actually remember how to do the Hadouken move, so I might have to look that up later because, like I said before in an earlier episode, my memory is terrible. But, uh, those are some pretty cool enemies. Can't remember their names because, like I said before, but, uh, I, I won't even get into that. You guys know that by now if you've been watching this far. And I commend to you if you have. So here we have some reused source material, and I totally dodged that. Thank you, game, for registering that and hit you up, and you die before I could hit you up. It's just not very sportsmanship of you, is it? Wait, sportsmanship. I am just going all out with my weird grammatical sayings, aren't I? Ow! I was trying. Excuse me, good sir. I was trying to. There's the Hadouken. You hold it down and back with triangle. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Yes, those are the Hadoukens. Aha! Fucking punch. Hit you. Hit you. Fireball you. Not fireball. Kick you. Kick you. Punch you. Sure you can you. Shotgun you. Do not dodge you apparently. And... Hadouken! Awesome. I really hope the delay in my voice and uh, capture did not screw up the timing of that Hadouken. But it probably did, knowing my luck. But that is okay as long as I still get the message across. So now if we go through do door number one over here, we shall get a very weird angled camera, and an even more weird angled camera, and the power of the dragon has control over it now, it can't be moved, that's, ah, so basically this thing. This thing which uh, does a crap ton of damage if you're not careful, but it says, I have to find a way to beat this dragon. So basically, what you're supposed to do is, once again, I have to switch to my Alistair because my thing's not quick enough. But you got to play some Zelda Ocarina of Time with it. Except he's terrible at playing the game. Because he doesn't know to hit them back. You, sir, have not obviously beaten Dark Ganondorf in the game. Or oh, Phantom Ganon. Phantom Ganon! Jeez, I've played every Zelda and you think I would have learned the name by now. <sighs> now, in that game, I can actually name the enemies, but of course, the one that I was trying to say, I got wrong. That is just irony if I've ever heard the definition of the word. Which I do not hear often, so... Who knows? Okay, so if we jump... I can't remember what the platform is now. Where was it? Where was it? I wasn't paying attention. God, it's terrible. <sighs> you know what? It's the lever over here, is it? Yeah, it's the lever. <sighs> I can't believe how much of an idiot I am. You have to spin the control stick, of course. There we go! That's what I was trying to do. And then the mixed thing. And then you get the other thing and then everyone can be happy. Except I still don't know how to... Uh, there was a platform here. Where was the platform? There we go. Okay, so you just jump up there. Right, simples. Simple! That's all you need to do. I always make things more complicated than they need to be. Okay, here we go. So if we jump up here... Get ready to move. Uh, flash of light tells us that the next platform's there. 
Thank you, convenient lightning. That was not convenient at all. Let's try that again. Thankfully, it doesn't take too long. Oh. Uh, hello, random thing, which I cannot check, apparently. Okay. I don't... I, okay, um, my memory's hazy, but I do remember that that's not required. Okay, jump over here. Yes. Okay, jump over there. Jump over there, and we did it! We saved the world. Okay, not quite yet. We got the Quicksilver! A crystal ball filled with mercury. The mercury has lunar powers that will open sealed doors. Awesome. How mercury opens a sealed door, I do not understand. I guess it's to do with the lunar powers, but then again, why does mercury have lunar powers? Uh, once again, I do not know. And I accidentally taunt. I forgot there was a taunt button in here. It's kind of pointless, but it's there. But anyway, let's go. Let's uh, kill you dudes. You're not even giving us orbs that anymore. You're literally just dropping. Just two orbs. See, that's how much of a threat you are now. You mean nothing to us. One phone call interruption later, and we are back and rolling. What was I doing? Oh yeah, Mercury. Bing. That's what I was doing. Yes. I have the attention span of a squirrel at the moment. I shall be finishing up recording after this episode. Which, uh, hopefully, will be after... Well, when I say hopefully, I don't mean I don't want to stop playing. I want to keep on playing, but I should probably actually get some sleep before I slur my words any more than I have and end up like Sylvester Stallone's speech. Ha! Door open. Show me the gem with the moonlight! Aha! Mercury! Not quite the end just yet, but this looks very familiar. And so do you. Yes. It is time. A man with guts and honor. I like that. But it's a shame you serve Mundus. <laughs> Uh, is he doing the Dragon Ball Z fusion dance? Nope! He's going Super Saiyan! Oh my god! It is time for the final Nilo Angelo boss fight! Now he has honed his skills to be the master in this fight. Oh. And as you can see, he is quite powerful. <laughs> oh, don't know what happened there. Got stuck in the railing. No. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Oh, crap. Now this is why he's so dangerous. His spiral swords. His new weapon, and they are annoying, but freaking awesome at the same time. And once again, we get an awesome arena. This is just brilliant. Oh, I love this fight so much. Let's see if we can shoot away. Oh, looks like his spiral swords are not doing any damage. Oh, 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 that was a close one. Oh jeez, that was another close one! And that one just completely hit me. Okay, I call rubbish. I call rubbish, I completely dodged that. And don't need to use Spider Star just yet. 
Okay. I was in the air first of all. Second, I'm uh, using them the yellow orbs. Starting again. This is a tough fight. I will not blame you or myself for dying on this one because this guy is hard. Okay, round two. Let's go. Oh, oh! Throwing your Hadoukens, are you? Oh, okay. That was just a cheap shot. I did take cheap shots too! Okay. The camera wasn't even on him that time. Come on, get your spiral sword. Oh, new one. New spiral sword. Okay, I would prefer to have him on screen because this is quite terrifying with him off screen. I completely... Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, right, items. I probably... Okay. Okay, I'm only using one. Okay, I'm only using one holy water. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh Right. I'm sorry this is cheap. So yeah, that's the uh, easy way of defeating him. I'm really sorry, but that I know that's a cheap way for beating him, but I didn't want to waste any of my yellow orbs and he was about to and I was about to get shot by his glowing blue ball. Which is pretty much a Hardukin. Well mine are orange, so that means they're EX Hardukins and What is this madness? He has an amulet just like mine But that could only mean Virgil, Dante, happy birthday. Wow! I want to go away! No, I want to Trish, Virgil has been defeated. You know what you must do. Now go. Yes. Oh snap! So, I think that's as good as a place to end it as any. I will accept that D rank. I should have not used those orbs, but in the next episode. We shall be going down to hell and back to take down Mundus. Steer W3 Prime, and I'm signing out. <laughs>